his aquatic life because sunlight penetrates only a relative short distance through water. also affects life in aquatic ecosystems. Temperature varies based on the depth of the water and if it is near the equator. The deepest part of the lakes and oceans are often colder than surface waters. Currents can dramatically affect water temperature because they can carry water that is significantly warmer or cooler than would be typical for any given latitude, depth, or distance from the shore. Nutrients also affect life in aquatic ecosystems because certain substances need them to live. These include oxygen, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. These zones are divided based on the depth and distance from the shore. Organisms in the intertidal zone are submerged in seawater at high tide and exposed to air at sunlight at low tide. These organisms then are subjected to regular and extreme changes in temperature. They also are often battered by waves and currents. The coastal ocean extends from the low tide mark to the outer edge of the continental shelf. Water here is brightly lit and is often supplied with nutrients by freshwater runoff from land. The open ocean begins at the edge of the continental shelf and extends outward. More than 90% of the world's ocean area is considered open ocean. The open ocean can be divided into two main zones according to light penetration, the photic zone and the aphotic zone. The photic zone only supports a small species of phytoplankton. Most photosynthesis on Earth occurs in the sunlit top 100 meters of the open ocean. The permanently dark aphotic zone includes the deepest parts of the ocean. Food webs here are based either on organisms that fall from the photic zone above or on chemosynthetic organisms. Deep ocean organisms, like fish, are exposed to high pressure, frigid temperatures, and total darkness. 